help us out, Denise? Yes. <laughs> so uh, you had mentioned about the technology. So I have heard people say, well, there's such an abundance of technology today, so it must be easy to put an online course together. But more <laughs> technology <laughs> means more work, not less. So I want to make that clear. And I also agree that you need to have taken a face to you need to have taught a face-to-face -face class before you try to put together an online class. And um, put your face-to-face -face class on Blackboard. Make sure it's all there, everything you're going to have. Learn the technology there and um, then have a mentor. And you can even have your um, your face to face students kind of vet the material. Absolutely, oh, they're going to catch. They're going to gonna catch it. things, <laughs> and then that helps you improve the class. Or yeah. is it that that helps? Yes, me. absolutely. And okay. it, it is more work, no doubt about it. And I think everyone here would agree mm -hmm. that a good, successful online course is much more work than a face to face. Um, however, it is much more rewarding as well because there is. Um, Having a mentor, I think it's a great idea. Having someone, um, you know, having even a group of faculty that sit down and just brainstorm ideas, that is so incredibly helpful. Um, I know I've learned about distance learning, about online learning. I've learned a lot from my peers. Um, there's no way I would be here today if it wasn't for them because there were so many places where I got frustrated and I would look at it and I say, but how do I convey this to them? And then I'd hear about this wonderful idea from another That's English right. instructor who was doing it or another you know, discipline instructor. I would go to them and say, well, tell me how you do that. And I would try to experiment with that and um, make your online class your own. Don't don't just copy paste something. Make it your own. Bring your own personality into the class because that's how successful classes. That's what's mm -hmm. authentic. That's what's right. authentic. Mm -hmm. And then you believe in it, and so you try to teach that. Absolutely, absolutely. For me, it's be approachable. Make sure that they can come to you if you have a, if they have a problem. Um, when they take a test, if they have a, a question on one of the tests, because you know. I know I'm perfect, but they may not say that, right? <laughs> I know I'm perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, the answer key is wrong. And so yeah. I'll do the research yeah. and look it up, yeah. and and I will get back to them. Whether If they're wrong, I'll explain to them why the, it was wrong, and always, always thank them for bringing that to my attention, because I want to know, I want this course to be really good. Yeah. So I need their feedback. And you know, I learn from the students all the time. You know, they'll make comments, and it's like, oh, I didn't know that. But in my little, you know, <laughs> but but for me, it's be approachable. Make them feel comfortable talking to you. You know, with a problem, or even sometimes they just need to vent. Yeah. And that's okay too, as long as it's in a respectful way. I can handle it. Okay. And then one piece of advice I'd have for someone who's new to teaching online would be just try to learn one. One of the many, many tools that comes up under yeah. the prep factor. <laughs> just one per semester. Just figure out like what that does because that might actually be the magic thing you need. <laughs>